okay this is uh math pure 4.4 uh quiz <coughs> very very easy really very easy uh question one i want you to starting with them just to remind you how to find sides and volume or whatever uh, the volume v of an open box with a square base of side x uh is 640 for x8 what is the height of the box so yani, you have a box has a square base okay oh it has a height we don't know how much it is so i'm gonna draw it like this okay okay and it has this height we know that the square has sides x and they're saying that side is x is 8 so it's 8 by 8 and it has a height let's call it h okay so we know that the volume is 640 you guys what is the volume of any 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 poly, any polygon the volume of any uh polygon uh, not even polygon any any shape okay any plane is area of the base times height okay in this case the area of the base is 64 because it's a square base right and the height is h so 64 h is 640 obviously you're gonna get h is equal to 10 okay this is so easy question two okay the surface area okay this one always comes every every ca the surface area of a cylinder with radius r and height h is this 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square its volume is pi r square i need to zoom in try it so it zoomed out uh <coughs> its volume is pi r squared h if the volume is equal to 3 4 5 6 uh, pi then the surface area can be expressed as what okay volume pi r squared h it's equal to what three four five six right i'm just writing this on the side okay so they're saying what's the value of b so they express the surface area as something over r whatever 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 so you can see here it, the two pi r squared stayed but they changed we still have an r but they got rid of the h so that means they substituted h with something okay so anytime you see this in the exam this is what you do okay you take h uh, sorry sorry you take your volume and this is how it comes in the exam same exact thing but they just change the numbers you take your volume and you equate it to the value they gave you right three four five six pi you cancel pi on both sides and you find an expression for h because now we want to substitute h with something right so you're going to get h is equal to three four five six over r squared right so you're going to go back to our surface area and what we're going to do we're going to substitute uh, h with three four five six over r squared so two pi r three four five six over r squared plus 2 pi r squared, 2 pi r squared, we keep it normal, adi, adi. okay, r cancels with r squared, you're going to get 1 r down here, and you're going to get that the surface area is equal to, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 2 is 6, 9, 1, 2, 6, 9, 1, 2, pi over r, صح, over r, uh, plus 2 pi r squared, al x 6, 9, 1, 2 over r, pi plus 2 pi r squared, so what is the value of b, it's 6912. Okay. The radius R for which the surface area is minimal. Okay. Whenever you want to find minimum or maximum value, yeah, you need to find the stationary point, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. We have this is our expression for surface area. How do you find the stationary point? You need to derive and equate it to zero. So what is surface area prime? What's the derivative of it? Mm -hmm. 6912. Oh, actually, rewrite this take R up is going to become negative one, right? So it's going to be 6912 uh, pi r to the minus one plus 2 pi r squared. Now you can derive this easily, right? So derive minus 1 times 6912 is minus 6912. Uh, add, uh, so subtract 1 from the exponent. Remember, we're not integrating now. I got used to integration. Uh, you subtract the exponent by 1. It becomes r to the power of minus 2. I forgot about the pi, guys. Sorry. Okay. And plus 2 times 2 is 4 pi reduced by 1 r. Okay, so this is the surface area prime. Right? We're supposed to equate it to 0. So let's go here. Minus 6912 pi uh i'm gonna put it over r squared i don't like working with negative exponents okay plus four pi r we're gonna equate it to zero i'm gonna cancel pi okay well, come in i want to take minus four out from both sides okay let's take minus four out six nine one two divided by four let's see uh you get one seven two eight so you're gonna get one seven two eight over r squared minus r why minus r? Because when you take minus 4 out, it becomes minus r, right? Equals 0. Here's what I do, okay? People do it in different ways, but Anna, what I do is I like to take r out, okay? Since I have r here and here, people go like, oh, what? What? How? You have r down. How can you take it? Man, man, you can still take it out. So let's take r out. You're gonna be, it's going to be minus 4r. 1728 over what now? If you take r out, it was 2, okay? It was 2. 
take another R out is going to become 3. Why? Because this R2, to help, to help you understand, this R2 is the same as saying what? R to the power of minus 2. So, so when you take an R, another R out, minus 2 minus 1, you're going to get R cubed, right? Because it becomes minus 3. Let me, let me, let me rewrite this. I'm going to use negative x1 so you guys can understand a bit better. When you take r out, it's going to become minus 1728 r to the power of minus 3, sah? Minus uh, r divided by r is just 1, sah? So equal to 0. So you're going to get two values of r now. We're going to get r equals 0 for the first one, right? r equals 0. And we're also going to get this minus 1728 over r cubed is equal, uh, minus 1 is equal to 0. We get this all equal to 0. Well, I took r down now because I, again, I don't like solving when r is negative. Okay, so let me take this up a bit. Over here, we got r equals 0. Solve this equation. Uh, take minus 1 to the other side. You get minus 1728 over r cubed is equal to 1. Okay, then cross multiply. You're going to get, whoa, wait, how is it negative? No, it's not negative. It's, this is positive. Uh, well, why did I put it as negative? I took minus 4. Yeah, it should be positive. Okay, uh, over r cubed equals 1. You can just put this on your calculator. You'll get r equals 12. But for those of you who don't you know, want to, if you cross multiply, you get r cubed is equal to 1728. And you get r is equal to cube root 1728, which is equal to 12. Okay, so you get now two values. r is equal to 0, r is equal to 12. Okay, now what you would do is you would check which one's minimum, which one's maximum. The way I do it, okay, other teachers disagree with the way I do it, but I substitute r equals 0 into the original surface area equation, and I substitute r equals 12, and I compare which one's uh, minimum, which one's less than the other. Now, see here. So, when you substitute, I'm going to save you some time. Uh, let me take it down. Okay, uh, I'm going to save you some time. Over here, let me write this down here, because it's a bit unclear. We got the surface area is equal to 6912 pi over r plus 2 pi r squared okay so when you substitute now r equals 0 you're going to be dividing by 0 and you guys know it's not allowed to do that in math right so for that reason it's rejected also if you get this in a written you're supposed to write r is greater than 0 why because guys you check into when you get your expression for surface area you need to write your um you need to write your how can i say it uh ya Allah. you need to write your restriction you're not allowed it's not allowed to be zero so you say r is greater than zero and obviously guys a radius cannot be negative so you have to say it's always greater than zero so for that reason r equals zero is rejected and you're left with r equals 12 so you don't even need to substitute 12 and you'll get that 12 is the minimum value because it's the only other possible answer so i did a lot let me recap oh well she the first thing you do you equate the volume to uh the equation of the volume to the value you have and you're going to get an expression for h you substitute that expression of h into the original surface area equation they gave you and you're going to find the answer for b okay very easy now for b after you do that they want you to find the minimum value anytime you want a minimum value you need to derive and you can just derive okay over here uh, you get your stationary point uh you you get you, know, you derive uh, 6912 you take r up make it negative 1 6912 pi r to the power uh, minus 1 plus 2 pi r squared to derive this you guys know all you guys all know how to derive this minus 1 times 6 9 1 2 whatever 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 2 pi r squared whatever this all all add it okay you know how to derive after you derive you equate it to zero because we're trying to find our stationary points when you equate it to zero i'm pretty sure by the way you're cal uh, you're oh we're not allowed integral calculators uh you could you, yeah you're not allowed integral calculators so you actually should actually know how to solve but let me see if it works aslan or I'm casting pi out, huh? Yeah, you get 12. Yeah, you get 12. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, it, it, of course you can't do it on calculator because we have non-integral calculators and non-integral calculators don't have the function to solve like this, I think, uh, from what I know. Uh, so, you actually have to solve it yourself. Easiest thing, always start by, you equate it to zero, right? You cancel pi on both sides. Then everybody has their own way of solving. I just factored out minus four to make my life easier, and then uh, whatever. Uh, and then sorry. And then I, it's just more. I factored out r, so it became minus three, and this became minus one. And then whatever cube root, you know how to solve. You equate this to zero because anytime equal to zero, this should be equal to zero, and you get this whatever. You get this over here. Okay. Look. <clears throat> I think, I think, now don't take my word for it, 
I think in the exam, the answer you get in part A, divided by 4 and cube rooted, and that should be your answer. Okay, I think. Okay, because this will work, because it's always 2 pi r squared over here. So if you divide by 4, and just cube root always, you'll get your answer. If it comes exactly like this, okay, do that. Divide by 4, because you're dividing by this 4 here, you're factoring it out, and cube root. That would work. Okay, but I hate, I really, I hate teaching you guys methods like these because you, know, you won't, you're just memorizing. I hate when people memorize math. Uh, but, you know, okay, you know, take it. Uh, I want you guys to pass at the end of the day. Uh, question three. The volume of an open box with square base of side 13,000, uh, with square base of side X is 13,500. What's the height uh, of which the surface area is minimum? Okay. You guys know volume uh is equal to area of the base times the height right okay and it's equal to here what 13500 okay so the volume is equal to 13500 so the area of the base times the height is equal to 13500 always whenever you get these questions you do these you always take uh the volume you're given equated to the equation of the volume i guess everybody knows what the volume of a box is it's area of base times height area of the base if the side x What's the area of a square, guys? It's x times, it's x squared, right? So in this case, 13,500 is equal to x squared times h. Okay. You get this ex expression, right? Type. What are they asking? They're saying the height for which the surface area of the box is normal. What's the surface area of a box? Okay. The surface area of any box, it's usually, it's 6 s squared. This is for a cube. But here, that's so many people do this and they're going to get it wrong. The surface area of a rectangular box because you have a square at the at the bottom. Let me show you. Oh, that ain't a square. You have a square at the bottom. Take it up. This is your box, okay? But you have to remember that it's opened from the top. Okay, so when I when something's open, I shade it, okay? Okay. So it's shaded. So it's open. What's the surface area of it? Just so you guys can help see. At the bottom, you guys know that the area of the square over here is x squared, right? Mm -hmm. Then you know that the side, this, if this is x and this is h, what's the area of this rectangle facing me? I, I think you can kind of see it. The area of each rectangle here is the, le is the length of the rectangle h times the width of it x. So I have four of these rectangles, right? So 4x h. Mm -hmm. So the surface area is equal to, you add up all the areas. The base of the area of the base is x squared. Plus, I have four of these rectangles, and each one's x times h, so 4xh. Okay, 4xh. This is the surface area. Always, until you want to find the height, so we need an expression for the height. How do you find height? It's going to be, you rearrange it, 13,500 over x squared. So you go back here, and what do you substitute h with? 13,500 over x squared. Same exact question, guys. x squared plus 4 times x times the height, which is 13,500 over x squared. Cancel, cancel. You're going to get x squared plus 13,500. Uh, sorry, 4 times 13,500. 4 times 13,500. Uh, I don't know what to do. 4 times 13,500, 54,000. So surface area is going to be x squared plus 4 times 54,000 over x. Okay, guys, I think from this point here, you guys all know what to do. When you want to find, we now found the surface area. We found an expression for the surface area, right? How do you find its minimum? You have to find its stationary point, so you have to find SA prime. Let's derive it. This our sheet is going to be x squared plus 54,000 x to the minus 1, right? Derive. It's going to become 2x minus 54,000 x to the power of minus 2. You equate it to 0. Always, right? Equate it to 0, right? So we need to put SA prime equal to 0. Equate it to 0, you're going to get 2x minus 54,000 x to the power of minus 2 equal to 0. I'm keeping them as a minus exponents because it's, it's going to be a bit easier now when I factor out x. Take minus 2 out. Why am I taking minus 2 out? Because I want the bigger term to be positive, okay? It just makes my life a bit easier. Actually, you know what? Actually, take take 2 out. Because you guys will... You won't remember this in the exam. Take 2 and I want to take x out as well. I'm going to get 1 minus 
54,000. No, no, uh, 27,000 because I took two out. 54,000 divided by 2 is 27,000. X to the power of minus 3 equals 0. So now you get two solutions. You get X is equal to 0. And you're going to get this is equal to 0. And when you get this is equal to 0, you're going to... Let me write it down for you. 1 minus 27,000. X to the power of minus 3 equals 0. Take 1 to the other side. You're going to get minus 27,000. X to the minus 3 is equal to minus 1. You can't minus on both sides. You're going to get... Oh, actually, let me make this exponent positive by taking it down. Huh? Cancel the negative on both sides. You get 27,000 over X cubed is equal to 1. Cross multiply, you're going to get X cubed is equal to 27,000. And you're going to get... Uh, let's see. X is equal to cube root 27,000. Which is, I think... I don't know. Whoa! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I got confused. Yeah, I get x equals 30. But now we're not looking for x. We're looking for the height. So now that you have x is equal to 30, how do you find the height? We know height is equal to 13,500 over x squared. So it's 13, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0 over 30 squared, which is equal to 15, I think. I think I did it now. Yeah, okay. So you get h is equal to 15. Okay. The x equals 0 got rejected for the same reason it got rejected in the last question. Okay, it got rejected because if you divide by 0, you're going to get infinity. Okay, so over here, let's recap. Always, always, whenever you see minimum, okay, you need to find the expression for the surface area. But you're never allowed to derive when you have two unknowns. For that reason, you need to substitute. Usually, usually, the easiest thing, if they tell you height, just substitute an expression for h. How you substitute for that expression of h, always. Look at what they're talking about at the start. Volume is 13,500. So immediately write V equals 13,500 equals to area of base times height, which is equal to X squared times H. So then here, you can find an expression for something and substitute. So you're going to get H is equal to 13,500 over X squared. This is always, always, anytime you see minimum, maximum, these types of questions where it's volume, surface, area, these are the steps you have to follow. You start over sheet by finding an expression. How do you know which one? They tell you height. Okay, find an expression for height. How if you find an expression for X, it's easier. But just so you can remember it easier, they ask for height, find an expression for H by writing down what you have given. 13,500 is equal to the volume, which is equal to the base times height, which is equal to X squared times H. Okay? That's it. You now get this and you substitute it into what do you I want? I want surface area. What is surface area? X squared plus 4xh. This question, I don't think they're going to get it. But they're going to get question 2, definitely. But if this one comes, you have to know how to solve it. Okay? You get this. Substitute your h. Add. You get this now. Derive. Uh, equal to 0. When equal to 0, you get two solutions. And then remember, they're not saying for x. They want the height. They want h. Okay? So you substitute into h. x squared. And you're going to get 15. Okay? Mm. This is the famous question we get all the time. Uh, a square of side x is removed from each corner of a cardboard. It measures 21 by 8. Okay, this is so easy. One. And the cake. 21 on 8. Okay. Square side x is removed from each corner. Yeah. X. X. Hello. X. X. Again. Horn. <coughs> X. Or X. Oh, come in. X, X. Okay. The sides of the cover then folded vertically upwards to make about. Wow, la, 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 la. Okay. That's a lot of yap. Okay. The volume is what? Type. Let's see here. What's the volume going to be? Enter when you fold it. You're going to reduce this. Let me put this 21 here. This 21 here, after you removed X from here and X from here, how much is it going to be left? 21. It was only 21. You removed how much? X here. X here. So you're going to get. 21 minus 2x. Type here 8 command. What did, this is the length. Let's call this the length. Here command. You remove the 8, you remove the side x from here, or x from here. So the width is the length. The width, shusarla, 8 minus x minus x. So it's going to be 8 minus 2x. Type. What are they asking? They're saying volume. Guys, what's the volume of a box? It's area of base times height. The area of the base in this case will be length times width. And the height in this case. Is x right because it's enter when you fold it? Uh, this is going to be side x. And you enter, imagine you have this shape, okay? Okay, when you fold it, 
what's going to be the height? This this side over here is going to be folded to come up here, right? And the height then of the box would be this the length of this side, right? So that's that's it. The length of this side is x. So the height is just going to be x. So it's going to be 21 minus 2x times 8 minus 2x times x. And you just fold this, guys. 21 times 8 is... Yeah, I have no idea. What is 21 times 8? 168. Okay, so 168 minus 42x minus 16x plus 4x squared uh, times x right so just put an x inside uh, let's start i'll start from this because i want to have uh, a highest power first okay 4x cube uh minus okay this is going to be minus uh, 42 16 40 58 right 58 yes it's going to be minus 58 let me put minus 58x minus 58 times x is minus 58x squared and the 168 times x is 168x so you should get this over here same thing <coughs> question five this guy comes from 10 oh my God. okay a square of side okay this is this comes all the time okay mm -hmm. square of side x is removed from each corner of a square card with a measure 30 by 30 the sides are then folded vertically upwards to make an open top box of height x the value for which the open top box is maximum type Nafs al guys, same, same exact thing, okay? You see this command, same style of question in the exam. And that side 30, and that side 30. Nafs is she, x is removed from both, all corners, yani, kill on. x, 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 kill she, kill she, x, <coughs> oh, x, on command, x, x. Okay. Nafs is she, it's folded vertically upwards, height of x, what's the value of the volume? Volume, guys. Again, this is the maximum questions, whatever. I told you before that for the maximum questions, you need to have <coughs> you need to have two equations, surface area and volume. Here, why I'm not using surface area and volume, because hey, they gave us the, the length of the sides. You don't need to do Allah, okay? Over there, it was kind of, you're working with letters. When you're working with letters, you need two equations. But here, hey, they gave you 30, 30, x. You only have one unknown, and that's the x. Okay, the volume of a square, guys, it's what? It's a square, uh, uh, it's... Uh, all shapes, area of base times height, right? Well, the area of the base, again, is going to be length times width, right? Times the height. Let's see. Nafs' style of question. Same sheet. Same, same, nafs, same, same. <laughs> oh, my God. Same style of question. You take x here, x here. So, let's call this the length, and let's call this over here. You take x here, x here. It will be minus x, minus x. You take x here, x here. It's going to be minus x, minus x. The height is always just the, the length of the corner you're cutting out, okay? Just memorize it like that. So you have 30 minus 2x, 30 minus 2x, times x. You're going to get 30 times 30 is 900, uh, minus 60x, uh, minus 60x again, uh, plus 4x squared. Okay, I'm just following it, huh? I'm distributing, and then times x, okay. 900 times x is 900x. Uh, minus uh, 120x, right? This is minus 120x. Uh, times x is minus 120x squared. 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. Type, let's see here. They're saying the value for which the volume is minimum. So, now we the volume, right? We found the volume. We want to find that, uh, sorry, maximum, not minimum. We need to find its uh, stationary value. How do you find that? You derive and equate it to zero. What is V prime? V prime is equal to, let's derive this. I'm going to start with the biggest term first, okay? 12x squared uh, minus 240x plus 900. This is their derivative. You're supposed to equate it to zero to find the stationary point. 12x squared minus 240x plus 900 is equal to zero how do you uh how do you solve this hey uh, quadratic formula uh because in the exam you have non-integral calculator you're not allowed to use the equation mode but some calculators have equation mode for uh, that are non-integral i suggest you buy them i think it was 995 or 991 one of them but anyway uh do the quadratic formula you get minus b plus minus radical b squared minus 4ac over 2a so you're gonna get let's see minus minus 240 Plus minus root b squared minus 4ac. Find your discriminant. Yeah, it's better to find your b squared minus 4ac. It's going to be uh, 240 squared minus 4 times 900 times uh, 12. 
240 squared find your delta huh? 240 squared because it makes it way easier to solve the quadratic when you know what your b squared minus 4ac is and minus 4 times 900 times uh, 12 you get 14,400 so delta is equal to 14,400 so over here you put 14,400 over 2a so 2 times let me move the calculator out of the way okay uh, over 2a so 2 times uh, 12 right okay uh, now you can solve this very easily uh, go on your calculator minus minus 240 plus root 14,400 over 24 15 so you get the first value is uh, what are we solving for x so x is equal to 15 and then the other value for when it's negative because remember it's plus minus guys it's 5 so you get two solutions 15 and 5 how do you check this is what I told you always you go back to your original equation okay you go to v substitute 15 at or you know you can just do this you can just put on the side v of 15 is equal to 900 times 15 minus 120 times 15 squared uh, uh, plus 4 times 15 cube which is equal to I don't know let's, let's do I think it's 0 by the way I remember it being 0 minus 120 times 15 squared uh, plus 4 times 15 cube okay you get yeah you get zero so i keep 15 will not be the answer because they want maximum huh? and then uh, for five you can write v of five is equal to 900 times five um this is what you write if it's written huh? 120 times five squared plus four times five cube equal to what just uh, substitute it with five <coughs> and i think you don't get zero yeah you get 2000 so obviously you're gonna write now hence uh, x equals 5 or no hence v is maximum at x equals 5 okay so x equals 5 question 6 a rectangle has a constant area of 16 when the perimeter is minimum the length is something and the width is something okay look here area is 16 perimeter what it, what is it okay we have two things area perimeter what's the area of rectangle just write them down so you like you know what you're doing it's length times width okay oh the perimeter of a rectangle if you don't know what the perimeter of rectangle is if you have width here length here width here length here you have you just add them all up so it's 2l plus 2w okay in other words it's 2l plus w okay because you factor out two طيب. the area is equal to 16 so length times width is equal to 16 right طيب. انت, uh, you need you have two unknowns right we want to find the minimum of the perimeter طيب, okay, okay i have two unknowns in my perimeter l and w you're never allowed to find minimum or maximum you're never allowed to derive if you have two unknowns you can't have two letters so like we did in the previous questions when we had two letters you would have to find an expression for one of them and to do that what do you do you always start with the thing given Area is equal to 16, so length times width equals 16. So I can easily just say that width is equal to 16 divided by L, right? So, okay, 2L plus width is what? 16 over L. Okay, this is the perimeter. It's equal to this. We, we, we need to derive it, right? Why, we, why do we need to derive it? Because we need to find the minimum and maximum, right? So P is equal to, to derive, always distribute. You're never allowed to derive if you have something outside. So 2L. Oh, that looks like a 2. 2 L. Okay, plus 32 over L. Okay. How do you now derive this? I distribute it. Can I derive? Of course I can. How do I derive? What's P prime going to be equal? Just derive, guys. 2 L. What's it going to be? Uh, 1 times 2 is 2. And reduce it to 1 by 1. But through L. 2 plus 32 over L is the same as. Let me rewrite it as. 32L to the power of minus 1, okay? Derive this, minus 1 times 32 is minus 32. Reduced by 1 is going to become L to the power of minus 2. So you're going to get P prime is equal to 2 minus 32 over L squared. طيب. Remember, we want to find minimum and maximum. So after you derive, what are you supposed to say? You have to equate it to 0. So 2 minus 32 over L squared is equal to 0. Uh, you're going to just solve this normally, Adi. 
you're going to get uh, take 2 to the other side you get minus 32 over l squared is equal to minus 2 uh, cancel the minus on both sides uh, cross multiply you're going to get 32 is equal to 2 l squared divide by 2 on both sides you're going to get l squared is equal to 16 so l is going to be equal to root 16 let me take this up which is 4 some people might say well why didn't you say l is equal to plus minus root 16 because guys how can length be a negative answer okay so we get length is equal to 4 okay now we put length as 4 we know that length times width we know that width is equal to 16 over l so to find the width i just go back to 16 over l and substitute l with what i got which is 4 i don't know if i did yeah 4 so you get width is equal to 4 so you get 4 and 4 <coughs> If this one does come in your computer part, always, always is going to be like this. Okay, and I'm trying to like give you ways, maybe for some people that find this hard, uh, I give you ways that you might like be able to use. If, they're always going to give you that, if they give you the question like this, they'd always give you the area as a perfect square. Because inta, the length is going to be equal to square root of the area. Okay, always for, for rectangle, this is going to work. Square root of area, so it's going to be 4. And the width is always equal to the area divided by the length. Okay, so it will be whatever. In this case, uh, the area is 16 divided by the length 4 equal to 4. If you just do this, if you memorize this, do it in the exam, it will work. But guys, please don't memorize. Please, I, I highly discourage you to memorize. Because if you get it written, what are you going to do? Okay, so please, like these, these, these things, I give you the trick. But uh, you should actually know how to solve. A rectangle has a constant perimeter. That's equal. Okay, see, same thing here. Okay. But here, what do they do? They gave you perimeter, okay? And now they're asking for the area when the area is maximum. Okay, so here's the thing. What is the area of rectangle? It's length times width. Two unknowns. So, so when you have two unknowns, what do you need to do to derive? You need to substitute one of them with something else, right? And to do that, you always, always need to see what you have given. Perimeter is equal to 28. Width, what's the perimeter of rectangle? We said it's 2L plus W. Okay, again, you can draw it and see, oh, L plus L, that's 2L, and then W, 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 that's 2W, and factor other 2, 2L two plus W, whatever. Okay, we know 2L plus W is equal to 28, صح? So how, how do I substitute here? I need to find an expression for either L or W, choose, and I'm, I'll find an expression for L. If you divide by 2 on both sides, you're going to get L plus W is equal to 14, and you're going to get that L is equal to 14 minus W. So you go back here to area, and you're going to get that the area is equal to 14 minus w as the length times the width right so you're going to get area is equal to 14 w minus w squared okay this is your area now can we find the maximum yes because remember to find the maximum you need to derive that's why i'm doing all this because to derive i need to have only one letter okay area prime is equal to zero that's to find the maximum how do i find the derivative this is an easy derivative 14 minus 2 w you know how to derive 1 times 14 reduce 2 times 1 whatever you get this Equated to 0, you're going to get w is equal to 7. Okay? w is equal to 7. I put w is equal to 7. There's, since there's only one answer, guys, I don't have to check which one's the minimum, which one's the minimum. There's only one. Okay, top over here. You know that width is equal to 7. w is equal to 7. How do I find l? We said l is 14 minus w, so you go 14 minus 7, which is equal to 7. Very easy. <coughs> Question 8. Okay. A cylinder can hold maximum of 16 cm cube. So the volume is 16 cm cube. Okay, uh, what is true? The minimum surface area is attained when what? They want the R value and the H value. Okay, so basically we actually have to solve it, right? They said that the volume is equal to 16 cm cube. What is the volume of a cylinder? It's equal to pi R squared H. Okay, what is the surface area of a cylinder? This is a cylinder. Surface area of a cylinder is equal to um, 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R h okay remember that we're trying to find the minimum of the surface area so what what can we do we need to derive the surface area can you derive if i have both r and h by two letters no so let's let's get rid of our h how do we do that we need to find an expression for h so what do you do to always when you want to find an expression you look at what's given you have 16 cm cube as your volume you have this as given so how do i find h you just take pi r squared to the other side so it's going to be 16 over pi r squared Meshe, easy over here 2 pi r squared uh, plus 2 pi r h. You can now substitute, you get this, plus 2 pi r, 16 over pi r squared. Let's uh, simplify, you're going to get 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi, uh, but no, actually, no, sorry, 
pi cancels with pi over here pi cancels with pi r cancels with the square so you're going to be left with uh, 2 times 16 over r so you're going to get 2 pi r squared plus 32 over r i think yeah so you get this so this is now your surface area can you derive this now can we derive it yes we only have one letter so absolutely we can derive this how do you derive let's see 2 times 2 pi is going to be 4 pi reduce exponent by 1 comes r this 32 over r we're going to rewrite it as 32 r to the power of minus 1 how do you derive this minus 1 times 32 is minus 32 reduced by 1 r to the power of minus 2 this is sa prime right okay let's see we need to equate it to 0 to find the minimum and maximum value so let's see when you equate this to 0 you're going to get 4 pi r minus 32 r to the power of negative 2 equals 0 let's take out 4 uh, you're going to get pi r minus 32 r to the power of, no no sorry pi you can take out 4 it's going to be minus 8 because 32 divided by 4 minus 8 r to the power of minus 2 is equal to 0 okay we have r common even though it's negative we can still take it out 4 r pi minus r to the power of minus 3 is equal to 0 how do i find r you get two solutions i wish you get 4 r is equal to 0 so r is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and then pi minus 8 r sorry pi minus 8 r to the power of minus 3 is equal to 0 how do you find r here you take uh, pi to the other side you get minus 8 r to the power of minus 3 is equal to minus pi negative cancels you're going to get 8 r to the power of minus 3 is equal to pi you divide by 8 you're going to get uh, sorry sorry uh, make make it a positive exponent now because i can't continue solving uh, if it's a negative you can get 8 over r to the power of 3 is equal to pi how do I find uh, r? Cross multiply, you're going to get 8 is equal to pi r to the power of 3. Now divide by pi on both sides. You're going to get r is equal to, uh, sorry, r to the power of 3 is equal to what? Divide by pi, pi, pi cancels with pi. You're going to get 8 over pi. So r is going to be equal to cube root of 8 over pi. If you put this on your calculator, you're going to get 2 over cube root pi. Okay, why? Well, actually, no. Do you get that on your calculator? Let me see. Um, cube root 8 over pi. I just want to see what the calculator gives you. Oh, yeah, it doesn't actually. Okay. See, this is where you have to do it yourself. Cube root of 8 over pi. What's, when you say cube root of a fraction, it's the same as saying cube root of the numerator over cube root of the denominator. Okay? Cube root of 8 is 2. Cube root of pi, we're just going to leave that cube root of pi. So you're going to get that r is equal to 2 over cube root of pi. And then they're also asking for h, and we found an expression for h over here. <coughs> we found an h expression for h over here. So we can just substitute r over here. Uh, we got 2 over cube root of pi, pi, 2 over cube root of pi. And remember, we said r squared, no? So squared. So you go on your calculator, uh, and I don't think actually you can solve this on a calculator. So let, let me see. Uh, 16 over pi times 2. I doubt you're going to get a proper answer here. Cube root of pi squared. Yeah, you get 2 points. See, that's the thing. So what would you do here? Let me, let me see. Okay, so look. You can solve this manually, but I don't recommend you do. Uh, if you solve this manually, square, the, square this. You're going to get 16 over pi. 2 squared is 4 over uh, cube root of pi squared is uh, cube root of pi squared okay and then when you have a fraction over fraction you can take the top part up uh, so it's going to be 16 over pi times 4 if you take this so you can take the bottom part up sorry and you're going to get cube root of pi squared i don't recommend doing this but this is if you want to solve in written okay 16 over 4 you're going to get 4 times cube root of pi squared over pi now of course you can get rid of this pi in the denominator so what do you do you're going to do change this into pi to the power of 2 over 3 and over here you have pi and since you're dividing you subtract powers 2 over 3 minus 1 is 4 times pi to the power of minus 1 over 3 and since it's negative you have to take it down so it's going to be pi to the power of 1 over 3 so it's going to be 4 over cube root of pi sorry cube what's this number 4 over 
cube root of pi. So this is your h. Okay, this works. Or if you get a computer part, you see the answer you get. Okay, 2.7. You're going to take this, you're going to put it on the side. Okay, 2.73. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're going to test out everything here. So much then, you're going to go on your calculator, you're going to go, you're going to test out 2 over cube root pi. Is that 2.73? No, 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 it is not, right? So we're going to go continue. 4 over cube root pi. Let's see. 4 over cube root pi. That is 2.73. So you go to this answer and you go like, yep, yeah, that's what I want. Okay. So that will save you a lot of time if it's computer. Uh, if it's written, I guess just leave it as a decimal, but they won't, give your, they won't ever give you um, a numbers like these in your written part. Okay. Question nine. Hat in computer, I doubt they'll get numbers like this. Given a right a cone of base r and height r such that r plus h is 12, the maximum volume is attained at what? Okay. And 3v max is equal to what? Okay. <clears> oh, <throat> well, she, they're saying maximum volume. So we need to find an expression for volume. And the expression for volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Okay. This is the, the volume of a cone. We're saying maximum volume, so you need to derive equate to zero, la 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 la. But can you derive if you have two unknowns? No. So what do you do? You look at your given, and in your given, they always give you a, an, an equation like this, okay? Sometimes in your given, they might not give you an equation. Sometimes they're going to tell you in the, in the given that h is equal to 12. They just tell you, you know, yo, bro, h equals 12, substitute, okay? But here, r plus h is equal to 12. So what do you do? You're going to find the expression for h is going to be equal to 12 minus r. Or you can do expression for r, which is 12 minus h. Both are completely fine, and you know, I just thought I go with the flow. So now here for h, what I put, I put 12 minus r. So v is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared, 12 minus r. So now we eliminated two unknowns. We only have one unknown. Let's make our life a bit easier. We're going to get 1 over 3 pi um, r squared. Sorry, what, what, what am I doing? Uh, you need to distribute this 1 over 3 pi r squared. 1 over 3 pi r squared times 12. 1 over 3 times 12 is 4. So you get 4 pi r squared. Uh, so this is 12. We're we done from the 12. 1 over 3 pi r squared times minus r is going to be minus, obviously, 1 over 3 pi r cubed. Because r squared and r, okay? This is just how to distribute. I'm pretty sure all of you know how to distribute. So now we have an equation for V with only one unknown. So now we can derive equate to zero, find our minimum, maximum, and la 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 la, so on and so forth. So V prime is equal to zero. Uh, <coughs> v prime is equal to zero. We need to find V prime, Aslan. What is it? 4 pi r squared. 2 times 4 pi is 8 pi, with here r, right? And then 3 times minus 1 over 3 cancels, because 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. So you're just going to get minus pi r squared okay so you get this for v prime equated to zero how do you get it uh 8 pi r minus pi r squared is equal to zero i know for sure you can cancel pi with pi uh you can factor out r you're gonna get 8 minus r is equal to zero so you get two solutions what are they r is equal to zero r is equal to 8 right type here's the thing r is equal to 8 i'm uh, sorry r is equal to zero uh will that be rejected let's see it won't be rejected. So you actually have to test it. Why won't it be rejected? Because you're going to get zero. But obviously, if you substitute, and obviously this is going to be wrong. It's never, you can never get r equals zero. But you have to show on your written part that when you substitute zero, it won't be rejected, but you're just going to get a, like a really low value. So you substitute zero, v of zero here. Uh, you're going to get four uh, pi times zero minus one over three pi times zero. So you're going to get zero. Okay, so you just have to show this extra step. Earlier, we could say rejected, but here you can't say rejected because zero is not as because our r isn't in the denominator, so you won't be divided by zero. So it won't technically be rejected, but it'll just be equal to zero. Now we're looking for maximum, we're not looking for minimum. So r equals 8 now. Let's substitute v of 8, and you're going to get 4 pi times 8 squared minus 1 over 3 times pi times 8. Okay, uh, cube. So it's going to be equal to, just you have to show this all. Uh, you can get 4 pi times 64 uh, minus 1 over 3 pi times uh, 8 cubed. You get 256 over 3 pi. So obviously, 
You just have to write this extra step if it's written. If it's computer, don't bother. Don't don't even bother. You get R equals eight, R equals zero, I zero is wrong, you want maximum eight. So you go up, you put eight. But so I'm just showing you if it comes written, okay? You skip all this if it comes computer. Okay, so then you show uh hence the R equals eight is max. Okay, we know R equals eight. Is R equal eight at day H? H had kun twelve minus eight, which is equal to four. So hello, we have R equals eight, H is equal to four. We put these already. What are they asking? They're saying uh, Vmax. Okay. We found Vmax over here. 256 over 3 pi. Okay. This is actually, actually, you needed the step, the substitution part. You needed it. Okay. We actually found Vmax uh, because I substituted R equals 8 and I showed 256 over 3. That means R equals 8 is max. That means this is, by the way, Vmax, the value find here because I, I substituted into the volume. I just found the volume. Since R equals 8 is the maximum, so I get 256 over 3 will be maximum. You could do that or you can take here r equals 8, r equals 4, go back to the original equation for volume, mm -hmm. and substitute them both, and you're going to get, by the way, 256 over 3 pi, okay? Uh, so I'll show you just here, because in the exam, you're going to be skipping all the steps here in the computer. So you take 1 over 3 uh, pi times 8 squared is 64 uh, times 4, uh, 200, uh, 240, 20, Okay, yeah, uh, wait, huh? 64 times 4, what's 64 times 4? Yes, 256, huh? Yeah, you're gonna get 256 over 3 pi. So, because Anna, in your, in your exam, you're gonna be skipping all this. You're just gonna, you're gonna go straight to finding, are you, like, you're gonna say, oh, r equals 8, so then you go back to here, substitute h equals 4, whatever, and then find volume, 1 over 3 pi r, pi r squared h, by using this one, the original equation for volume, because now you have both R and H, so you can find the volume 256 over 3 pi. But so what are you saying? You're saying 3 V max, so you multiply by 3, cancel, cancel, you get 256 pi. Okay? Question 10. This recording is awfully long, no? <laughs> square cardboard of side length 60, a square of side length X is cut from each corner, and the board is folded to make an open top box. Snuff says she. Okay, and the side length 60. Yeah, and kill one sixty. 60. 60. Uh, oh, I forgot to take out the chicken. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> yeah, I think I can. I stopped here where I was taking out the side X from each one. Type. Okay. Uh, what is the volume of the box? The volume when any the the when they cut out and fold the mobile shoe. It's area of base times height, right? With the base will be, it was 60, right? 60 by 60. You cut out x from both left and right. So it's 60 minus 2x, right? By here, it's here 60 minus 2x. Here, come in, it's 60 minus 2x. So that's the area of the base. With height, a day, always the height is the length, is the size of the corner you cut out. <coughs> so you're going to get, uh, for this, you're going to get 3,600 uh, minus... Uh, 240x plus uh, 4x squared because I'm just distributing huh? you can do it but, and I, I distributed on the root because it's both it's just the same thing so I just distributed as if it's a minus b squared okay uh, times x and you get uh, 3600x minus 240x squared plus 4x cubed so it's the same thing just the other way around what's the maximum volume this is our volume. To find the maximum, we derive equate to zero. See your stationary points. Here, uh, are we able to derive? Do we have more than one unknown? No, we don't have more than one unknown. So, uh, we can derive without having to plug in. Uh, if you find, if you derive, you're going to get 3600 minus 480x plus 12x squared. IDV prime. And I equate it to zero. I should declare it stationary, right? 3600. Hold on. 3600 minus 480x plus 12x squared equals 0. Uh, you need to do this. Uh, let me rewrite it with the highest term first because it's kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so interpolate like discriminant, right? Because we want to do the quadratic formula because the your, your calculator does not have equation mode. Uh, to find the discriminant, our she let b squared minus 4ac. Uh, so 480 squared. Minus 4 times 12 times 3600. Okay, your discriminant type. It's going to be 480 squared minus 4 times 12 times 
So delta is equal to 5, 7, 6, 0, 0. Okay, so I quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus root b squared minus 4ac, which we call delta, over 2a. So it's going to be minus b minus minus 4, 8, 0. Plus minus root 5, 7, 6, 0, 0. Over 2 times 12. Put this in our calculator. My 480 minus minus 480 is just plus 480. Plus root. We got 57600 0, 0, over 24 because 2 times 12. You get 30. You get uh, x is equal to 30. And you get x is equal to when you subtract. You get. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait, because I'm using answer as. Because uh, uh, I'm using the answer as, as 30. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let me rewrite. Sorry. 480 minus root, I'm going to use 57600, I'm not going to use the answer, over 24, yeah, you get that, so you have two values, 10 and 30, how, how do you check, you have to check, what's the volume at 30, what's the volume, at 30? the volume at 30 is equal to, uh, our volume we found it to be uh, this, right, so 3600 times 30, minus 240 times 30, squared plus 4 times 30 cube uh, you're gonna get the uh, hot double calculator 3600 times 30 uh, minus 240 times 30 square plus 40 as a 4 times 30 cube uh, you get 0 so you're gonna get v of 30 is equal to 0 and akid it's not gonna be the maximum because we're saying maximum huh? So uh, it's not going to be max. Obviously, it's going to be ten, but to you have to show it. V of ten is equal to what? Because sometimes they might, they might both be equal to zero. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it would ever really be both. But anyway, you still have to show it. Oh, do it yourself. See, you know how much is each one. Uh, you get sixteen thousand. Okay, sixteen thousand. So that means which one is bigger, zero or sixteen thousand? Obviously, uh, sixteen thousand. So uh, which one gets you sixteen thousand? Ten. So, the maximum volume is attained at x equals to 10 centimeters. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck.